it is eyeliner declutter time. So I figure I have probably around 80 eyeliners here. We're gonna try and weed through this a little bit. Now, disclaimer, I always put in a disclaimer before all of my declutter videos. I'm not a ruthless declutterer, just so you know. If you're expecting me to get rid of like half of this stuff, it's not happening. So I am going to try and weed through as much as I feel is right because I just need less. I've been keeping my eyeliners in jars, containers like this that I got at Ikea, but they are full. When I separated them between colorful eyeliners and then more neutral shades like black and brown, both of these are full. So I, I need less just because I find myself a little overwhelmed. So I'm gonna first sort everything into their various color families and we'll work from there. So I've organized everything into their various color families or as close as possible. In some cases, I had double-ended eyeliners. So I put it in the category with the one that I thought I'd be more likely to keep it for. Because it's a little difficult with those double-sided ones. I might really love one side kind of being different to another. So I have to make my decisions kind of carefully. All right, so... I'm not really sure where to start here. I think we'll just go with these white ones here first because I think I already know what I wanna do here. Um, I have three. One is sort of a jumbo eyeshadow stick. There's a couple of those that found their way in here. And then I have a liquid and a pencil liner. So I am going to declutter the Rimmel. This is the scandalized shadow stick in Witness White. I obviously haven't sharpened it in a while and some of these are probably gonna need to get sharpened. I dig out my sharpener. Um, but in this case, it's, it's a pretty shimmery white, but I feel like I have a lot of shadows that would accomplish with this, with this wood, so. I'm gonna get rid of that one. Now I have a Stila smudge stick in white, which I absolutely love. I really, really love the smudge stick formula. So definitely hanging on to that one. And I do have the NYX white liner. So I am going to keep these two. Some of these are gonna be easier than others. I already think I want to keep all four of these guys. These are pale champagne colors and I know they're probably going to end up looking very similar to each other but I have a certain fondness for these. I have two from Urban Decay, one from Pixie, and one from Lise Wattier. Okay so I'm actually going to declutter the Pixie one. This is one of the Endless Silky Eye Pens. This is the shade Oyster Glow. So I do really like these so I swatched all four of them here. Um, this one here is Oyster, so in this cluster of nudie, beigey shades, this pink shimmery one, this is going to go because it's very dry, um, but the other ones I'm going to keep. The uh, top swatch is the Lee Swatier, the second swatch is the double-ended guy with, uh, this is the Naked Basics double-ended, so that's Venus. The other side is Crave and Crave is a black brown eyeliner. My swatches are not gonna be pretty, um, but I do like that one too, but I'm definitely keeping it for, for the Venus shade. And then this shade on the bottom here is this Urban Decay 24 seven waterline eye pencil in Walk of Shame. So I really like using that on my waterline. I also like using the Lee Swatier one and the Venus, the Urban Decay shimmery one. I tend to use uh, in my inner corner or as my brow bone sometimes. I use them in different ways. I don't tend to put that one on my waterline because of the, 
the little bit of shimmer that's in it, but these three I'm gonna keep. I'm going to try and reposition my camera a little bit so that I can make sure this is in focus. Because that's the hard part sometimes is I can't tell if the camera is focusing where I want to focus. I feel like the green category is going to be another difficult category for me to weed through. Um, I'm not gonna swatch all of these. If I was to go through and swatch all these eyeliners, we would be here all day. Um, but I know I am going to keep the ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in Teaspoon. I use this a lot. Yes, I did change my mind and, and I swatched that one, um, but that's what Teaspoon looks like there. So that one I'm going to keep. I do have the Vivid Bright from NYX. This is Vivid Envy, which is a liquid green liner. So I'm gonna keep that one too. Definitely keeping the Stila Smudge Stick. This is Mint, I believe, Mint Julep. Definitely keeping that one. As I said before, I really love the Smudge Stick formula. I have gone through quite a few of these already and decluttered a fair amount. Now I think I'm gonna get rid of this Gosh one. Um, it looks like a very pretty color, but I've just had this for so long and never used it. Um, Cause it looks nice, but it just, I remember it not applying it to my eye as well as I thought that it would, which is why I can tell the eyeliners that are either new or the ones I haven't used that much because they're a lot bigger than the ones that have been sharpened to death. That's a good example. Um, even something like This Is Industry from MAC, you can kind of see how much has been sharpened out of that one. Some of, some of my eyeliners look like sample sizes when they're not sample sizes. So this gosh one, this is Green Devil, which I like that name, but I've had this for years. So that's gotta go. Uh, another one I can see out of my green pile that has to go because I've had it for so long is from MAC. It's a PowerPoint eye pencil in Tilo. This obviously tealy color, it's seen much better days. I've had this for such a long, such a long time. It's very dry now. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. I don't know if it's still available, but if it, if it is, I probably will be getting it again at some point. Um, I have another pixie eyeliner, which some sort of brown gold color. I can't tell the name anymore because sh I sharpened it away, um, but it's way too dry. I tried to swatch it and it's just all chunky glitter. So that one's gonna go. I do have another pixie eyeliner here and I had previously decluttered one of the Pearl Glide liners from MAC in Undercurrent, which I was absolutely nuts about. And I know they've discontinued those liners, which makes me sad because I love those. I went through a phase where undercurrent was all I wore, but I have this one, which is emerald gold, and it's pretty much an exact dupe um, for undercurrent. So I'm definitely hanging on to that one. So I do have some pretty blue greeny colors. Most of them are from Urban Decay. I'm keeping these ones, but I did decide to get rid of this one from Lee Watier. This is one of the eye shines in Peacock. I just felt like it was a little bit too similar, similar in tone to the other ones that I had, and it was a little bit dry. So good to get a few things out, like I said. All right, so I have a few grayish colors here. Um, one easy one I can see that I can get rid of is another PowerPoint pencil from MAC. This is Industry. I love the PowerPoint eyeliners from MAC so much. This is so old and so well loved, but that's why I need to get rid of it because it's just so old. It's so old and I really need to just buy some new ones. I've been putting off buying new ones for years and this is just such a reliable eyeliner formula for me. So I'm gonna get rid of the old ones because there's, there's really no point in keeping them. Um, I'm also gonna get rid of this CoverGirl eyeliner. This is one of the Liquiline Blasts and I love these. I think these are the best drugstore eyeliners that I've used, but again, this is very old. Um, I'm not sure the name of this one, this silvery color. Um, the last time I used it, it irritated my eyes a little bit and I didn't declutter it then because I've been planning to do an eyeliner declutter for the longest time and I kept putting it off because I thought like I wasn't going to be getting rid of enough stuff to make it worthwhile to declutter things, but I think it's important to show realistic declutters sometimes. So I'm gonna get rid of the CoverGirl one. 
The rest of these I know I'm keeping. I don't even have to swatch them. I have three various Urban Decay ones, which I've used pretty recently. Um, um, one from Makeup Forever, which was recently passed on to me from my sister, and another Steel a Smudge Stick. So. It'll be a cold day in hell before I get rid of one of those. Um, I have a few browns and I actually thought I had more browns. So I feel a little better that I don't have as, as many browns as I thought I did. I still have, I still have too many. Um, but I almost feel like I don't have like what I really want. Just a really good matte brown. I feel like there's a lot of stuff with shimmer. Maybe I need something like a Teddy again. This is an eye coal from MAC and I'm, yeah, this... This unfortunately also has to go, go. This is very well loved. I've just had those MAC eyeliners for an embarrassingly long time. If I told you, you would disown me. Um, I have two little mini stag eyeliners. I think these came from the Naked on the Run. So I'm going to keep one of them. I'm just going to swatch it. These are like a black brown eyeliner. I'm going to see if... I, if a particular one happens to look better. Okay, this one, for some reason, I swatched them right here, and this one swatches a little better than this one, so. It's a little bit more fresh. I have this little eyebrow pencil from Anastasia that I tried to pan and then hated it, thought that I would just keep it to see if I would use it. I'm definitely not gonna use it, so. I'm gonna declutter that one. I do have some minis that are going to be saying goodbye. And I have another MAC one I unfortunately have to get rid of. I have to go to and buy a bunch of these MAC ones once I figure out what I need because the PowerPoint eyeliners are so good. This is Stubborn Brown. I don't want it to go, but it has to go. This is another CoverGirl Liquiline one. This is a brown one. Can you see how well loved this one is? But again, it's old. I'm pretty sure like this predates my YouTube channel and I definitely know that Stubborn Brown does. Same with some of the other MAC ones I decluttered. Yeah, told you, you would disown me. I haven't used them to be fair in a long time I just kept hanging on to them because it's so hard to let go but that's gotta go. I feel like this one has to go too. This is lorded up. Yeah. Unfortunately this other one has to go as well. This is a another brown eyeliner but this is more of a sparkly brown. Um, this is part of the Pearl Glide formula which I said I really liked but they got rid of it so. This one right here is this pixie eyeliner. This silky and with silky eye pen. Not sure the name is because I sharpened it away, but I'm going to keep that one because it's still functioning pretty well for me. And then I have Whiskey from Urban Decay, which I'll be keeping. Surprised I only have one brown, but I think I have brown like double-ended ones. And then I have the Kylie eyeliner in brown. It's really good. I have Makeup Forever, Charlotte Tilbury, Steel a Smudge Tick, <laughs> like, of course. Um, this is Deck of Scarlet, this is Twilight, and this is actually a really good eyeliner. I've used this a few times. I really like the ones that twist because I find them so much easier to use sometimes. So, all right, I got rid of a few things so far. This is, let's see if I move these things a little closer. So, I have, I'm still sorting them by colors and more like neutral shades, but I've so far decided to get rid of four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 things so far, so feeling good about that. Um, I have these orangey shades, which I'm keeping, I think all of them. Um, this is a Stila liquid eyeliner, and it's still, it's still good. I was concerned it might have dried out a little bit. This is actually a shadow crayon, but for some reason it's it's there. And then I have Sephora brand flashy liner. This is awesome. So I just sharpened it, um, but it's so reflective and metallic and really fun. And this relatively new one from Urban Decay in Torch, which I got when I got the Naked Heat palette. So keeping that one. Now I have some kind of miscellaneous golds here um, and yellows like this Lancome liner this what is this uh, this is the drama liqua pencil extreme longwear eyeliner excuse my my ugly swatches but this is an awesome eyeliner I love this liner formula this is a really good gold from Urban Decay too but I think this was part of a set stargazer like a yellow gold the only one I'm gonna get rid of out of this gold collection here 
is this little mini Laura Mercier one because it's really old and I, I know it's dried out. It's one of the ones that I found a while ago and didn't get rid of because I thought I would hang on to things to show I declutter because I'm silly like that. Um, I have some pink or pink adjacent eyeliners. I'm going to get rid of this CoverGirl one. It's it's a shadow crayon, but it's kind of a thinner shadow crayon. I got it when it was on sale. What was the... Oh, I got it at Target when Target was closing. And Target has been out of Canada now for like a couple of years. So this CoverGirl is flamed out shadow pencil in 340. So I'm not sure what the actual name is, but it's just like a pale pink, but it's pretty dry. Um, the rest of these I'm keeping. No surprise, because like when it comes down to it, generally I will be keeping Urban Decay <laughs> eyeliner pencils. I really love the 24-7 eyeliners, and I have Glitter Rock Woodstock, which I love so much. This one is called Heartless. It's so cool. This one I need to sharpen badly, um, but like it's just this really pale reflective pink. I think Urban Decay has some pretty cool eyeliners. I wish they just had more mattes. And another one of the NYX Vivid Bright Liquid Liners. This is Vivid Fire. I want to play around with these a little bit more. So I have purples, blues, and blacks. So with the blues, I'm going to get rid of the two Pearl Glides from MAC. This is Petrol Blue and Industrial. Same reason as I got rid of the other ones, although you can see these ones aren't as well used as the other ones are. Um, I definitely... I definitely didn't get a lot of use out of these. I remember using Industrial a lot when I was panning the Naked palette. That was years ago, so <laughs> those can go. Um, this this one has to go as well. This is a Maybelline one. This is really, really dry. It's a beautiful color, but I find I have to press way too hard on my lid in order to get in order to get any kind of payoff. I've used this a few times and I forgot all about it. This is a liquid liner from Kat Von D and Nietzsche and it's what the ink liner this is beautiful um this is it swatched right there i don't know how well these swatches are showing up my hand is beautiful it's like abstract art um but this is like this very pale like almost periwinkle blue gorgeous i was gonna put that in the declutter pile for a second don't know what i was thinking i somehow have two electric eyeliners from urban decay i believe i bought one and i think i was given another one um, so I swatched them to see if they swatched differently, but they, they don't. So I'm going to keep the one with the most product because I don't need to keep both of them. Then the other Urban Decay ones I will be keeping. I have Ultraviolet, Deep End, and Binge, Fair Shades of Blue. And I have another double-ended one. One side has Perversion, which is just your standard black eyeliner. The other side has LSD, which is a very deep shimmery blue beautiful blue glitter so i will be keeping i will be keeping that one i'm going to temporarily keep this smashbox one this is the limitless eyeliner in indigo ink it's a navy eyeliner now i thought i had a navy one from urban decay but maybe i decluttered it or finished it maybe i finished it it was the shade sabbath and i know they don't make it anymore so that's disappointing because I love a good navy eyeliner. I went through a phase where I wore navy eyeliner and gold eyeshadow all the time. So I'm going to keep the Smashbox one, even though I'm not super crazy about it. And I, I don't really like this Lee Swatier one. I sometimes like it. Like, it's funny, the, um, the beigey one, this one, which is nude velour, is amazing. I just want to use it all the time. And this one, which is an eye shine. I just don't like it very much like I swatched it and you know it's okay but I don't feel like I would actually get a lot of use out of it so okay so on to purples now um I have a lot of purple eyeliners surprisingly I I'm surprised kind of really surprised that I have so many purples so the Stila one this is violet easy keep the Lancome this is a little mini one um I can't see the name on here but this is a little mini Lancome Purple, definitely keeping that one. I have a few double-ended Urban Decay ones in this pile. One that has Rockstar and Perversion. Gonna keep that one. Um, one that has Black Market, which is a shimmery black, and one that has Tornado. Gonna keep that also, excuse me. And I'm going to keep the Naked 3 double-ended one with Dark Side and Black Heart. I love to layer Black Heart eyeliner with 
black heart from the Naked 3 palette. I really love the Naked 3 palette. Um, this is one of the newer ones from the Naked Heat line. This is Alkaline, which is like what dreams are made of. This beautiful deep wine color. This is gonna be hard. Okay, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep Psychedelic Sister and I'm gonna keep 1999. Um, I'm gonna get rid of um, Bordeaux line from MAC, because again, just because it's old. And I'm, I have two designer purples, the Pro Glide liners, and again, these are just, they're old, so I, I feel like I have to get rid of them at this point, just because I've had them for so long. I'm gonna get rid of this Pixie one as well. This is something plum. I wore away part of the name, and I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know all of them. Um, but this is a purple one, it's just a little dry, because I've had it for a while. I have a Kylie eyeliner in Chameleon, which I'm keeping, and I'm getting rid of the Chanel eyeliner. This is Cassis, which I love the name. I want to like the eyeliner, but I can't like the eyeliner. I've had it for so long. If I liked it, I would have used it. It's a beautiful shade, but I don't like the Chanel formula. I really don't like Chanel makeup in general. And then this one is uh, Scone Cosmetics Pretty Eyes Automatic Eyeliner. So I did like a pre-search or pre-go through of my, wow, that's, that's a lovely swatch. Um, I swatched this when I was first looking at it just to see if I actually really wanted to commit to decluttering. And when I swatched that one, I was like, oh, it's so pretty. I have to, I have to use it though. I can't just say it's pretty and keep it and look at it. That's, that's not going to do me any good. Now we move on to black eyeliners and this is the last category and there's a lot here. There's a lot, a lot of black eyeliner. Let's move this out of the way. Um, I definitely do not need, definitely do not need all of these. So I have two liquid liners left, oh, three liquid liners left, but I'm working through all of them. I have a tiny little bit left of the Stila one. I keep hanging on to it because I'm comparing the brush to some of the other ones that I'm using. Um, so I panned one of the steel liners not that long ago, but this is another one that I have. It's in a little bit more, little bit better condition than the, the other one was. You can see it's not as worn away. I have a little mini of the tattoo liner from Kat Von D and I have Sex Kitten from Tarte, which I got quite a few months ago now. Um, I definitely liked it because it's a little cat. I, I'm, I think out of all three of these, I like the Kat Von D the most, but I'm, I'm working through them, so I'm going to keep those three. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this one. This is Jane Iredell. I don't like this style, and this one's also old anyway. I have a little mini Cynthia Rowley one that I know I was trying to pan. Not going to try and pan it anymore. I have so many mini Makeup Forever ones. So many mini ones. I just keep getting them from little sample set. So I'm going to get rid of all three of those ones because there's no need for me to have a, a mini eyeliner. Oh, hey, I have another trooper. I don't know where that came from. I was actually very excited by that. I was really surprised I had that. See, I have a full size of the black Makeup Forever eyeliner that's in everything. So I'll keep one full size. I don't even know if I have more than what I can see right now, but I'll keep, I'll keep, I'll keep one of them. I think that's okay. Um, I have engraved from MAC that I have to get rid of, which I'm really sad about because this is probably my favorite black eyeliner. This is the eyeliner I used all through university. I don't think it was this exact eyeliner. <laughs> I hope it wasn't. Um, <laughs> I have a problem with MAC stuff. I'm letting go. I have julep eyeliners here. I have a double-ended brown and black and then a black one, but I'm going to get rid of both of those. Uh, what else can I get rid of? I'm going to get rid of the CoverGirl one. I did just use this, but I used it and it was fine. Maybe I should keep it because I do like it. Yeah, okay, we'll keep it. I know. Um, I have an Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner in mood. Keeping. Another Urban Decay double-ended one. This one has zero and demolition. Demolition is a brown that I like, um, but I also like zero as well. And this is another double-ended one in smoke and black velvet. Black velvet is a, such an amazing eyeliner because it really does feel like black velvet and look like black, black velvet. I have another Lancome one, one of, another one of the uh, Drama Liqua pencils, the black one, which is great. I know I don't need all these black eyeliners, but I'm keeping a bunch of them. I have this little mini tart one, which I, nah. I remember having a little mini 
guy similar to this from Marc Jacobs that I really liked that was on my Sephora wishlist for a very long time. Um, but this is so dry. So dry. So that can go. I have this Milani one, which is very, very creamy for a drugstore eyeliner. Almost too creamy, but I like using it as a base because it's so black. It's so pigmented. Um, I find as an eyeliner, it smudges all over the place, but as a base, it's pretty much perfect. I have a little Burberry, like it's like a multi crayon. It's a little bit of a softer, a softer black, a little brownish black. I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to get rid of the Smashbox one. I remember trying to pan this years ago and I didn't like it. And now's the time to get rid of it. Black Swan, another Pro Glide from MAC. Unfortunately, got to get rid of that one. Um, I have two NARS eyeliners, two of the, the larger than life ones. I don't need that many black eyeliners in general, but sometimes, oh, that one, that's the one I tried to sharpen. What is that even doing in here? Okay, that's gone. <laughs> there was a project pan I did a long time ago where I tried to sharpen it and you're supposed to twist it up. See, some of these are kind of nice. This is a little mini Sephora one, so I'm going to keep that one too. And I have a razor sharp liner from Urban Decay, which I haven't used much, but I definitely, I definitely want to use more. The e.l.f. Waterproof Gel Eyeliner in Black. I've used this a lot. I, I, I really like this one. I need to sharpen it again, actually. And um, I have one from NYX, which is a little bit stiffer of an eyeliner, but I think, I think I would use that more in my waterline. And then I have from Clarins a Kohl. I, I think I'm gonna keep this. I th I think I, I think I wanna I wanna play with that a little bit more. Okay, so this is what my containers look like now. This is so much more manageable. Let's count and see how many I got rid of because I think I got rid of a lot more than I had thought I was going to get rid of. So progress. I'll count how much I have too, um, but I'll count the ones I'm get rid of, getting rid of first. All right, so I counted 38, 38 that I am getting rid of. So let's see what I'm keeping. Okay, so I have 43 in the color bin and 37 in the neutral bin. So that means that I'm keeping 80 total and I had a total of 118 when we started this. Yikes. Yikes. But I am keeping 80 but I'm getting rid of 38. It's close to a third. It's a little less than a third I'm getting rid of, which when you think about it in that kind of context, it's pretty good. Yes, I am keeping more than probably the average person would need, but I'm not the average person. So I feel a lot better now. This is a lot more manageable. Like it's not overflowing. I feel like I can sort through these containers a lot easier and find things better, especially in the in the neutral pile, I feel like this is really decreased. And I do have like a variety of colors in here. Like there's not many dupes when it comes to the colors. There's definitely dupes when it comes to the neutrals because I'm keeping multiple black eyeliners, but it's different formulas and different ways to use them. Plus I spent money on most of these things. Like I either was given it as a gift or it was stuff that was decluttered by other people, like namely my sister who gave it to me you know, or I spent my own money. I definitely value what I have a little bit, a little strongly, maybe more strongly than I should. Um, but I feel good about the stuff that I'm getting rid of because these are definitely things that I don't reach for, haven't reached for in a long time and can just dispose of and have some, some lovely eyeliners to play around with. And, you know, I can see if I do need anything at a later point. Definitely not now, but I, I need to pan some of these, especially some of the smaller ones. So that'll be a goal. Anyway, that is all for me for my declutter. Thank you so much for watching. This will probably be my only declutter for a while because I really don't have a whole lot to declutter because I did a lot of decluttering last year. So I have, I've had a lot of requests for declutter. So I thought that I would just mention that because I weeded through a lot of stuff when I did my makeup basket series last year. So I, I'm in a pretty good place right now and I kind of want to keep it that way. So anyway, thank you once again and I hope we get a chance to chat soon. Bye for now.